Canva and Squarespace are by far my top favorite tools I use in my business every day. I decided why not to show you how I use them together. So in today's video, I'm going to show you four ways to use Canva to create better websites on Squarespace. If you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. My name is Ksenia and I'm a brand and website designer. And here I share Squarespace website design marketing tips and tutorials for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. Let's dive in. Log in to your Canva account. If you don't have one, the link below under the design, you want to select animated logo, but I already have created this logo over here and I'm going to just adjust the spacing a little like that and make it larger. I want to create animation for the logo that would change the color duplicate this page and all I want to do is just change the color like this and then I'm going to duplicate again and this this time I'm going to change this to blue and the blue one to green. We have three different canvases. Looks good and now we're going to click share and click download. I like to have it the highest resolution possible in transparent background and click download navigate to this animated gif maker select three images we just created and drop it here i feel like 50 would be okay and click make a gif preview our gif and click save navigate to your squarespace website here's our test website click edit and then under the site header we want to change the test logo to this gif i want it to be a little larger okay save this very subtle animation that would make your website more interesting and draw attention you can obviously animate any other elements on your website with the same technique the second way we can use canva to make better website on squarespace is utilizing canva icons here's a good example how this website implemented different icons and it just makes the information on our website more consumable. It's easier to understand what is in front of us if there is an image attached to it. Let's jump back to Canva and under the elements, type business and then click graphics. Canva has a lot of different illustrations available. Change the color and since, since we're already using this blue color, I'm going to be using the same also, I want to add this circle behind it. Click on a position and send it to the back and click on the color again and then click on this added new color and adjust to be a little lighter. And now I'm going to select all of it and just to make sure, click on a position that it's all aligned perfectly. Duplicate this and let's go back. Graphics again. Let's use this. We're going to change color to this blue and we want to make sure that they are the same size and uh, let's look for the third one which would be a team this one is good i'm keeping the one below it just to make sure that it's the same size okay looks great download we want to select transparent background and because we have this extra elements under the pages make sure to deselect all and just select the ones that you need which is the three last ones and I wanna make sure the size is larger. Back to our website and let's add a section and we're gonna use this, click on edit content. And here we wanna select the simple list, go back to the elements and make sure that the show image has been selected. What else is selected? Okay, we just wanna have three, so we're gonna delete one of this. Here's our icons. I'm gonna just drop them one by one. Let's go to the other one and the last one. For the purpose of this tutorial, I don't really need that much content. I'm going to remove the show the body and under the design, I'm going to navigate to this image crop and I want to select this one by one. And then under the style, I just want to increase this, actually maybe decrease. This is good. And then under the size and space, we want to adjust the media here on this three dots to be smaller like that and click save. And here's the final result. A neat, perfect way to display features of the product or the services you offer, literally anything. The next way we can use Canva is by creating testimonials. 
we're not actually going to be creating testimonials and create those stars, the five stars that we can display under our testimonial. We want to leverage this visual trick to make our website and products stand out. It could be obviously any canvas element type star. The first one works just fine. How about we do a dark section now? So I'm going to use this lighter blue color. Duplicate. Okay. Select all of it and just make sure that all of this grayed out. It means that it's positioned perfectly. I'm going to increase the size of it just slightly and then download, increase the size PNG back to our website. And I'm actually going to uh, duplicate this under the content. I'm going to remove the icon we've been using. Let's upload another one. I want to adjust the color to be dark because we use light bluish color specifically for that purpose, just like that. And I actually want it to be blue, kind of the same color we're using on a logo. Go to the colors and then we want to look for the darkest one, which is this section and it's right here under the section background. We want to change to custom color and we want to select this blue color, maybe a little dark like that. Click exit and then under the edit, I just want to adjust a few things. First of all, let's pretend like this copy is a testimonial. And then we also want to show the body, which is going to be serving us as a name. So under the content here, under the description, we're going to use, we would input the name of the person who left us a testimonial. Let's do same for each of them, just like that. And under the design, we want to adjust the image crop now to this one, immediately the padding around smaller, which is kind of the look I'm going for. And then under this size, we can increase the content width and also change the space between items like this. And I want to adjust the space between elements. Just like that, we created another section displays our testimonials with the help of a little graphic from Canva. The next way we can leverage Canva is by creating a background illustration for our website. Let's customize this template. We do not need any of this. I'm going to change the color to remove. I want to make this a little darker. I want to look for the gradient. Okay. So this is the one we're going to use because this one, we cannot adjust the color, but in this one, we actually can. Okay. Let's enlarge it, share and download. I actually want to download as JPEG. Download back to our website. And instead of this just simple blue, I'm going to click on edit section to the background and just going to upload this. Currently we have an overlay. We want to remove it. And then under size and spacing here under the vertical padding, we currently have it under medium, but I would actually increase it here. And the other thing we can do to make it even more stand out is under the background, we want to select an image effect and we can select this zoom effect or like a parallax. And now scroll, you see this, the background scrolls with us as we proceed towards the page. So this is another way to create an interesting visual effect on your website and make your testimonial or other important sections to stand out. I'm going to show you another trick I like to use in in Canva. Um, it's different mockups I use to showcase the products on the website. Back to home and I want to find Let's customize this template. I'm going to remove the background. Let's grab our logo and go back to this screen. I want to adjust the color of the background. Share, download, and we only want to download this first screen and we're just going to use it for our app. Okay, download. We want to remove all of it. I don't need any of this. We have to increase this size that and place it over here. Our app screen is ready. Download and we want to make sure that it's transparent because we don't want white in the background. And 
we want to increase the quality. Download now. I'm going to just use some silly text for this purpose. Increase this. We can upload our mock-up. Under the background section, we want to uh, minimize this grid layout like that. It's too high, so it kind of creates, it kind of cuts the image back to this element. And I'm going to resize it. I'm going to click custom resize, reduce the height of the image to be, I'm going to click continue. And I just want to resize it. I don't want to copy it because I don't really need to save this design. And now we're going to download it again with a transparent background. And let's replace it on our website. It fits way better. Save. Let's change the color to the dark color. And because I want this to stay white, I want the color to be, instead of adaptive, I want it to be solid and I want it to stay white. Just like that. And we want to adjust the color of this button. Looks great. Let's also create the same effect for the background. We're going to upload this background image, image effect of scrolling. And let's preview it more dynamic look of our website because we're using this mock-up to actually illustrate what is a product might look like. In our case, this is an app. Uh, Canva has a lot of different mock-ups. Use a laptop so you can search for different laptops or you can use a book. And the last one, pretty useful tool that Canva has. So remove a background, go to the element and search for let's have about us. I'm just looking for different photo of a professional headshot of a woman. Let's say this one. And what I want to do is added the picture and remove the background. Click added photo in effects and I want to create a shadow. I want to make sure that it's kind of in a blue. So it's like very subtle, a little darker. So we can adjust the blur amount and how intense the background shadow is. Download it with a transparent background download. In order to download the transparent background, we always want to have a PNG file, select this transparent background, and then select the page two down in here. Just duplicate this. We want to remove the background and remove this. Then add an image, drop this lady over here, enlarge the image. Click save. I also can add a little bit more movement by adding the scrolling block about us, make it larger and send it to the back. So it's not in front of her face, but actually behind her. Under the colors, we want to look for the dark one theme and section background. Let's go to custom, just like that. If you want to find the element that are currently being used on a section, you all have to do is just click on this section while you're in the colors and it's going to show you all the elements that we're we currently using on this page. I want this to be less yeah, this is good. And a primary color of the button would be okay. Beautiful. And let's preview it. Here's our demo website that I created with a lot of graphics from, um, what do you think?